Jeff Saturday, undefeated as a head coach, 25-20. Cower called out the Colts. Oh, went crazy. Saying it was a disgrace to the coaching profession. Well, I kid, you're not going to like this, but I don't think we could have it both ways. I mentioned on Simmons' podcast, I go after these coaches every week. I can't get on them for putting just a, a Jeff Saturday in there, but I think it's also underreported how much he does for the team and how much he was consulting anyway. Here's what I would say to the guys like Cower. You know, how much broadcasting experience did you have before you got were given a broadcasting job, Cower? You probably went right from coaching into the booth. You got, got people who have gone to school, all this training for it, can't get a job because Bill Cower gets handed a job in the broadcast booth. Keep your mouth shut regarding it. Let Saturday coach. If he doesn't do well, he'll be out. Uh, good for Saturday for winning and shutting people up. If you knew for a fact that Matt Ryan was playing yesterday... Regard, mm-hmm. Regardless how poor he's been, if you knew Matt Ryan was going to be starting, which came out of nowhere, and if you knew Jonathan Taylor was going to be playing probably more than he did, I would have told you that the Raiders were not winning that game. That's the big thing about this. This just seems like the year that they should have been having last year, the Raiders, right? Like the, last year, they had the president right. had something. They got they had to fire him or whatever. Or he left, and then the Gruden stuff that should have uh, amounted to a three win season, mm-hmm. not a team that went into Cincinnati and almost won. Right? You had to feel like they actually were going to probably win that game. Then the fumble happened by the Colts, and how the Raiders don't fall on that was unbelievable. Yes. Oh, yeah. The game mm-hmm. could have been that could have been that would have been it. How yeah. do you not three guys right there? They don't fall on it. Colts fall on it somehow. Get it some way after it's jumbled around all over. Three plays later, Colts are in the end zone. Game's over. Unbelievable. 